Okay, let's take a look at this. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, there has been a, a new blue post, and this is uh, this is about a day old now. We're uh, we're right on the eve. Uh, we're right on the eve of season of discovery coming out. Everybody is very excited. Like you can see how excited Chad is right now. So they put out a little uh, a notice here, a blue post about a classic era PVP update that is uh, also going to be applying to season of discovery. So people have asked me to look into this. I've done a lot of PVP in my time. Uh, I, I've done the honor grind. I've done the uh, the rank 14 grind before. So uh, a lot of people have asked me to look at this and I haven't had the chance to just because I've been so busy getting ready for season of discovery, uh, trying to figure out what server we're going to play on and uh, all that kind of stuff, getting the, getting the guild back together, kind of coordinating with the, a lot of the old guilds from years ago having some fun with it okay this is from kyvax he says when we updated the pvp honor system in patch 1.14.4 our changes were focused on making it so that we no longer needed the old pvp honor system script so this is a change that happened in the summer and we can go ahead and take a look uh we can go ahead and take a look at that as well because i think a lot of people aren't familiar with that maybe if they haven't been playing classic era or anything like that because the honor system that we have today is not the same honor system that we had uh, in original vanilla or in in the classic re-release they've changed the honor system now so we can take a look at that as well uh just to familiarize some people with it who maybe haven't been paying attention myself included they wanted to uh make it to where they no longer needed the old pvp honor system script eliminating ranking points and removing de-ranking decay or de-ranking due to decay as we look to the future, we've carefully considered the role of Decay in today's honor system and how it interacts with increasingly competitive honor requirements in the higher ranks. As a result, we've arrived at the decision to, to disable honor Decay in Classic Era and in Season of Discovery. This will become effective starting with the scheduled weekly maintenance uh, on December 6th in this region. When the uh, weekly honor rollover occurs on December 6th, you will no longer Decay due to having not met the minimum honor requirements for your rank. Please note that decay is not the same as the penalties incurred by earning dishonorable kills, which is now the only way a player can lose rank of progress. Thank you. So this is the change that I think Blizzard should have made initially. A lot of people have talked about what is wrong with the honor system. It's uh, it takes too long. It's too it's too grindy. Uh, people are like, oh, it's not skill based. It just takes a long time. It's not entirely true. It's that's partially it's 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 a half truth right it's a half truth that a lot of people start screaming from at the top of their lungs whenever they want to come up with an excuse as to why they didn't get it um now to be fair because it is a half truth i think it is like kind of half valid but that's a discussion for another time that kind of doesn't even matter um what's really the case here is now that they want to get rid of honor decay i don't want to go into all the specifics of how this works exactly I want to give a short version of how the honor system works. You get honor points by killing the opposing faction. And at the end of the week, how it worked was it would put you in a ranking of how much honor you've gotten every week. So based on how much honor you've gotten in that week, it puts you in this, it gives you a, a certain uh, rank in the standings. And based on how many players that week got a certain amount of honorable kills, they're added to the player pool to calculate a bracket spot. Okay, I'm not gonna get into all those specifics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep it short. But basically, your standing determines how many rank points that you get. Rank points are invisible, you can't see them. You can use a script to figure out your ranking points. But what ranking points are, that's actually your XP bar that uh, allows you to progress your honor rank. So you need to get a certain amount of ranking points. You have to pass a threshold to actually gain because the higher your your rank is, the more decay you have every single week. This is the, this is the quickest, shortest explanation that I can give. It's very confusing. I'm sorry, but the, like the higher your rank, the more decay. The higher the rank, the more decay, and then you have to get a higher standing to gain more rank points to beat your decay. And once you can beat your decay, you actually gain, and so you you have more decay to beat. Uh, the higher rank you are. So that's the explanation there. Now they've decided to just get rid of the decay entirely. What my solution was, was get rid of the decay and then you still have to reach a certain rank point threshold to advance. What does this mean? This means that initially whenever people were trying to hit rank 14, uh, whenever they're trying to do the honor grind, if you took any break at all, it would take realistically 
at, at, at maximum efficiency, it takes like three months. But realistically, it would take about four months because of how bracket spots and stuff line up and whatever. About four months to be able to hit rank 14. But it's a, a constant grind of just hours upon hours upon hours of every day to get to get uh, enough honor to hit your bracket cap and all kinds of stuff, right? You need to get a certain amount of honor to advance. And it's, it's miserable because not just because you have to play a lot, right? Because I think playing a lot can be fun. It's very fun, right? Obviously, we like the game. But what's miserable is if you miss a week, if you're gone, if you can't take a vacation, you can't, you can't get sick and like to the point where you can't play. You can't have uh, any tech problems like your computer messes up and uh, you're like, man, my computer, my computer broke. I better go buy a Starforge PC at StarforgeSystems.com, right? You know that that if that happens, you know if that happens, then. Uh, your your rank is basically completely screwed. You miss one week and then you need to rank for like two more weeks, for example. It, it could be that bad. Um, so getting rid of that decay is going to prevent that. So it's going to be much more comfortable. It's still going to take as much time or like th this method makes it to where it takes as much time still, but not as much time in a row. So you can take a break if you want to and you can continue down the road to keep trying to rank up. So that's, that, that's kind of how the way that I look at it, if you get rid of the decay, but then you still have to get that rank point threshold to, to advance, then it works. Here's my concern. I think this is a half good change. So this effectively makes it easier to rank. So basically here's what we're saying. Whenever they made this PVP change, right? Whenever they made this PVP change a while back, uh, you guys said, and again, I, I haven't done the rank since they changed the system a few months ago on Classic Era. They got rid of the old honor script. They got rid of uh, they got rid of how ranking points work, and they removed deranking due to decay. And now they have this like new contribution point system. So they've made it where you can still decay, but you don't actually derank due to decay. So let's say you're rank 13, you have a family emergency, your computer breaks, something happens, you're trying to get rank 14. How it works today, right now, before this change goes in, is if you're halfway through your progress bar, that progress bar could go all the way back to the beginning. And then when you come back, you still have to get all of rank 13 and then 14, or all of rank 13 to get to 14. So now they're get rid of, getting rid of that entirely. And uh, they've basically made it now to where you're not competing against your own faction as much to be able to uh, rank up. Now, does this make ranking easier? I think it probably does make ranking overall. I think the fact that they've done this change and now they're doing this change, ranking is definitely easier than it was uh, in the past, uh, in the original system. I think it's it's like, I think it's probably, I think it's a little bit easier, but I think it's way, way more comfortable. I, I think that, I think that it they should have always had it to where the decay was removed and you just had to have like a certain rank point threshold to advance because it looks here like um with how they've changed this is they've changed it to where it's it's just like a very 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 long rep grind and uh this post gives a uh, this post gives like a more more specific like the the math behind it and how the contribution works contribution like i said contribution points are, are kind of the equivalent of what rank points were before now people are going to be like well i did it pre-decay change True, but uh, I guess at the end of the day, I personally won't really know if it's if it's easier now uh, or how much easier. I think it is. I think it's definitely easier, but I don't know to what extent easier it's going to be uh, unless I do it again. I don't know if I'm ever going to go for rank 14 again. It's very, very uncomfortable. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that you have to put on hold in, in order to be able to do that. And I'm in a different situation in my life right now with with what I'm doing with, with my stream, with OTK, with Starforge, with Mad Mushroom, everything else that I do that I don't think I would be able to, to commit to the old honor grind anymore. But now that they've changed the system to be like this, I mean, maybe there is a chance that I come back and maybe there is a chance that, uh, that, I, that I go for, uh, for rank 14 again in, in a season of Discovery or something. I don't really know, but this, this definitely makes it more attainable. I think it's gonna be very interesting to see as a classic PvP noob, what is the harm if ranking is made easier? Uh, too much good gear is available too easily and it, and it makes it uh, less special. If you're doing something commendable within the scope of the game, you should be rewarded properly for it. And if something is, is now made too easy with the same level of reward that it had before, 
it now turns into something that, oh, well, this is so easy that any, anybody can do it easily. So if anybody can do it easily, it now becomes something that's expected. It now becomes something that is uh, expected of you to do, and it goes from being something that you earn because you you uh, did something really commendable and it was a it was a feat of strength or whatever. It now goes from that that thing that you earn to a chore that you have to do in order to be able to compete with everybody else. That's one of the big points of difference between something. Uh, being hard and you get good stuff for it and something being too easy and you get good stuff for it It's kind of like the the participation trophy effect. So it's like free glad I'm not saying it's going to be that way, but I'm saying if it is too easy. It's not good. What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys think that this is an, a good change overall or do you think it's just going to be flat out too easy? If you guys are watching on YouTube, let me know in the comments on, on a personal level I think this is something that uh, Makes ranking again more reasonable for me. Is this a good change for the game overall? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But uh, but I think that it is probably going to be easier. And if it's a good change or not, depends solely on the degree of how much easier it is. Uh, if it's slightly easier, I think it's okay because it looks way more comfortable. If it's slightly easier and way more comfortable, I think it actually is a good change. And the reason why I think it's a good change, you're going to have more of the player base try and actually PvP because they won't feel like a hamster on a wheel and constantly having their rank just go down and decay and I mean that's that's one of the big problems uh, that's that's part of the problem of, of seeing a lack of PvP participation in classic WoW is you feel like you're not really going anywhere you feel like there's there's no point to it now I think that's going to change and I think you're going to have increased participation with all those things considered I think it's potentially a very good change but I think if it is too easy just outright too easy to be able to rank up I think it's a bad change because it makes some very very good gear uh, available much more easily than in the past and it kind of goes more with that like like welfare pvp gear mindset that was uh uh kind of brought into the game over the course of, of the years and the different retail expansions with getting like uh really cheap gear for for arenas and whatnot in the later expansions so uh i'm excited to see how it actually plays out in season of discovery if you guys like the video if you guys like more of this stuff make sure to leave a comment like the video subscribe Turn on your notifications so you guys get more more uh, videos like this and everything else. I do everything on my YouTube channel, all kinds of stuff. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy all kinds of variety and everything like that. You know, Classic WoW is my passion. It's always been my passion. Um, you know, sometimes I'll do some other stuff, but at the end of the day, I always hope that this game is, is thriving and doing well. So YouTube, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, Twitch, everything is SFANTV, TikTok, uh, threads all that stuff you got if you want to follow that stuff it's SFAN TV uh, I'm not hard to find so thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time